Welcome to a sold out SmackDown from San Antonio, Texas. Do we have an exciting show for you tonight? I can't wait for the action to begin. Just look at these WWE fans. They've really come alive here tonight in the Alamo City. They know they're about to see the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. Ugh. Nice reversal. Seeing a match like this makes me proud to be part of this company. I'm with you, partner. You just can't experience a thrill like this anywhere else. And that's because you're not going to see athletes like the WWE superstars anywhere Ugh. else, Cole. You certainly aren't. They're the greatest athletes in the world. Ugh. And this is the only place you'll see them doing what they do best. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. I don't say this too often, but I completely agree with you. This has all the makings of a nice, long oh. rivalry. I don't know how nice it is, Ugh. but there are certainly some issues between these superstars, and I think <laughs> this match might only exasperate them. Hey, watch your language. This is a... The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming Ooh. alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, try to strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this down the middle. These superstars give everything they've got when they're in a match like this, but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes, too. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. It has to be as important to you as anything else in your life. And for a lot of guys, their WWE career is their life. That's why you see so much passion for what they do in the ring. And that's something you won't see anywhere else. With all due respect to every athlete and entertainer out there, no one gives as much of themselves to their fans as the WWE superstars. Great reversal. Ugh. He slipped out of that one. Oh. This has been a great match so far, but I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a oh. guess then? There's no guesswork involved, but if you're going to be sn Here it comes, the Elijah experience. Oh. Did you see that? What an impact. Oh. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place oh. you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me. Uh. I know. Uh. Even if you wind up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Hey, that's pretty insightful for a guy who's never wrestled a match in his life. Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. He dodged that bullet. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. You know, if you let me train you, you could be cruiserweight champ inside a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marines real instructors look like pushovers. Are you surprised? They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks, but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. <laughs> You take one look at Bret Hart, and it's not hard to see why he's a WWE Hall of Famer. I'll put it this way, partner. If Bret Hart doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, nobody does. I don't think our fans are too crazy about Elijah Burke. What's not to like? The guy is pure gold on the microphone, and he can back it up in the ring. I think they've simply had enough of Burke beating their favorite superstars through 
underhanded means. Look at these superstars go. It's obvious that that takes some serious skill to execute your opponent's signature move like that. It's so great seeing these superstars in competition here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, anytime you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed a great show. And that's exactly <laughs> what we're seeing here tonight. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think, but these superstars, here's a move that'll leave you singing soprano. And that ring rope is even less forgiving than it looks, folks. This is not a position you want to find yourself in. <laughs> these superstars have proven time and again that they're willing and able to go the distance. Well, you don't get too far in this business if you're not. That's for sure, partner. There's always someone right behind you, ready to overtake you if you can't keep up. Man, I don't want this match to end. I'm with you, partner, but it's got to end sooner or later. Well, whichever way it goes, no <clears throat> one can say that these superstars didn't give it everything they got. Talk about, he just stole his opponent's signature move. That takes guts. Now there's a superstar with guts. These top rope moves though are high risk. The Hart family is a legendary name in the sports entertainment business and Bret Hart is a legend among legends. And these fans are getting a real treat watching the Hitman in action tonight. They're not the only ones. I could watch Bret Hart compete every night of the week. Oh, he's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the... Looks like someone's moving up in the world. Elijah Burke had 102 knockouts as a boxer before he came to WWE. 102. And it would have been 103, but after knocking his opponent out, he was disqualified for not going to a neutral corner. You feel like a jerk when someone counters you like that. I don't know what's more uncomfortable, watching this or experiencing it. Uh, experiencing it, hands down, trust me. I he's got that leg, he's going for it. And he's got it, the sharpshooter is locked in. Anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake should get into the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. These are trained WWE professionals. <laughs> Bret Hart calls himself excellence of execution, and it's not hard to see why. From anyone else, that would be just ego. From the hitman, it's the truth. And that's why Bret Hart is one of WWE's most respected Hall of Famers. Do you know that Elijah Burke used to be a boxer before he came to the WWE? I sure did, and what a fighter he was. 103 and one with 102 knockouts. And it, you know, there's such a thing as playing to the crowd too much, and that's what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Man, what a match. Kids, if you're watching this, don't try this stuff at home. Absolutely not. These are trained WWE superstars. 
and even they wind up serious. I think he's going for that Russian leg sweep. It's not just a leg sweep, it's the Elijah experience, and man, did he nail it. Red Hart called.